coming. I wanted to be able to answer any of the questions that you may have had uh, based on the plan that we submitted for consideration to the board on Tuesday. So I'll start with you all. Say my voice. So uh, the question is, did the county expect to be at 100% June 1st? Here's what I would tell you. We've been doing yeoman's work in Clark County, well over 700,000 first doses. And I think that uh, we can absolutely get there um, as long as people continue to get vaccinated um, and get tested to ensure that it's not spreading within our community. So, um, so the question is, what milestones are we taking to uh, be on track for June 1st? Is that basically what you're saying? Uh, so w we've been doing that uh, since we opened vaccines in December uh, because we know how important it is to keeping our community safe as well as the economic driver to get our community back on track. So each and every day we work across the valley uh, we have several partners that we work with from North Las Vegas, Henderson, Mesquite, Boulder City, not counting our private sector partners with the pharmacies to ensure that we can get vaccines out and make them accommodate, accommodate for everyone. We track every single day the positively rate. Uh, we track it it's over seven days, over 14 days. We monitor our sewer systems. So we've been doing that for a little over 13 months and we'll continue to do that. And all indicators show that uh, we can definitely start opening our community back up um, in a short time frame. Um, I'm sure you've heard from constituents a lot over the last 13 months. Everyone has an opinion on uh, lockdowns, whether they keep the township or not. What kind of feedback are you getting from constituents So good thing is I haven't heard from any constituents since five o'clock last night, uh, but I have been a little bit under the weather myself. So uh, what I can tell you, we're calling in every single day um, across the valley to ask people if they've had their vaccine, if they want to get their vaccine. There are many businesses that haven't been open that I'm excited to get them open. So for instance, um, the folks that run the pool, the pool and arcade games in our local taverns, uh, they're in our plan to reopen them. Uh, we think we can do it safely. Uh, Adult Entertainment is also in the plan to reopen. Uh, karaoke recently reopened buffets, which are a big part of who we are in Clark County. Those will be able to open, and I think that. Uh, people will be um, excited to have those venues. I think that businesses um, will be excited to be back open, and, and that's really, we want to go in a positive direction. And then as far as um, you know, the other commissioners are concerned, I'm sure you guys have had meetings upon meetings upon meetings about how to kind of move this forward um, as a whole, you know, and have kind of one voice leading the way and, and laying these things out. So um, here's what I would tell you. Um, we work through a regional um, multi-agency uh, committee, which is comprised of all of the cities across the valley, um, as well as our airport, our hospital. Um, so we work through that committee uh, through business and business licensing. And so that committee created uh, the plan, which includes the chamber, which includes the resort association, 
And so it will be presented to the board for public discussion uh, on Tuesday. And so I have not talked to any of the commissioners about it in particular, um, because we do have to follow open meeting law, but there's a regional committee that works together. So here's what I would tell you. Um, we will go back through our plan uh, this this weekend. Uh, the board will discuss it on Tuesday. There, we have to see what other um, things may need to be changed based on the conversation that was had yesterday. So it will be up to the board on Tuesday to have those discussions. So currently, um, they are still going through the BNI process. Uh, BNI has been working directly with uh, the Clark County Health District. Um, they have offered some additional mitigation efforts, and I don't know where those plans are today. Uh, but everybody is, you know, in our town, we have to plan three months, six months in advance so that we can get on track. And so um, I specifically haven't talked to any uh, sports teams at all, but I do know that the health district and BNI are working together to address some of those issues. Here's what I will tell you, every day is a concern, right? Because it's always changing and uh, my job is to ensure that our community is safe, uh, first and foremost, and that is what we've done all along is put public health first. However, we also need to weigh um, all the impacts uh, from you know, businesses that have uh, need to get back on track, uh, mental health uh, capacity for folks and the unemployment, all of that weighs on a person in many ways. So what I'll tell you is we'll continue to put public health first and then we will um, we'll, we will work to open as we need and we'll constantly be reevaluating after June 1st. Uh, we won't go away. We'll still have to uh, evaluate it. We'll still be giving vaccines at that point. So um, public health is our top priority. Uh, here's what I will tell you, we won't, uh, we won't cut back. We'll continue to make our efforts. We have done a yeoman's job across the valley uh, every single week with our enforcement education pieces. And anytime you start to change things, you have to re-educate folks on what that looks like. So we'll continue all of those measures um, as we have done in the past. So I don't believe that the plans will deviate uh, differently from uh, the state and the county. We work very closely with BNI. We've had to work with BNI this entire time and pretty good relationships. I know that they're constantly working to ensure that um, at the end of the day that the enforcement can be handled and that public health is a priority. So I don't anticipate uh, folks have the ability 
to put in their plans up to April 30th through a June 30th approval. And we've worked uh, hand in hand with BNI through that process. Have you been in contact with Insomniac? Um, I have personally uh, spoken with them and what, what I can tell you is I said uh, that, you know, we have encouraged people to have uh, vaccine areas or a negative PCR, and that is something that we have spoken about uh, since last November. Uh, they also said that they would like public health to be a priority because that is those social um, priorities of the groups that go there. So uh, that was my only conversations, and uh, they've been working directly with BNI and the health district as late as yesterday. I feel that we can do a lot of things safely if we all, uh, you know, set out priorities and we work together to enforce uh, the very rules that we lay out for each other. Um, you can do tons of things safely. Um, so it'll be entirely up to the venue for them to decide if they like the limit capacities and if they can adhere to uh, the rules set forth by the health district. Okay, one more question. My voice is going to cut out. So uh, what I would tell you, I will wear my hat as the chairperson of NACO, which is all of the counties across the state. And um, for the most part, everybody is working together to um, ensure that each county, based on their needs, can get going. So for instance, um, Story County has not had very many positives this entire time. Lincoln County has not. So they likely could open to 100% much faster. But remember that Clark County is the engine that drives uh, the train economically. We're also the engine that is, uh, has the highest unemployment rate. So we do not want to shut back down. So we need a measured approach so that we can continue to stay on top of it. And what I'll tell you to elaborate a little bit farther we have done a great job in Clark County. So a lot of people have worked. We have beat every uh, obstacle that has been in our way. We barriers in the beginning uh, to where FEMA uh, came in last July 24th and said that we could be overrun. We continue to stay measured. We continue to work collaboratively and we will, um, we will be more successful that way. Okay, thank you all for coming. Sorry to keep you waiting and till tomorrow. Thank you.